Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca on the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link on this uh, Tuesday evening. Uh, finishing up a nice day today, uh, sunshine, a little breezy, but we did manage to get temperatures up into the mid 60s. We're taping this as of almost a quarter of 10 in the evening. Skies are partly cloudy down in the along the south shore down at Easton's Beach. We're going to set up for uh, a cool night, but dry. So really no uh, weather issues to speak of. Look at the high temps today. Not bad, mid 60s. Though it felt cooler with that uh, stiff or that gusty northeast breeze. The 66 in Providence felt cooler. Made it a 65 in Newport. And we're thinking mid 60s um, for Wednesday afternoon, around 66 degrees. Good deal of sunshine coming up for your Wednesday. Not as much wind, so it should feel pretty good. So cool overnight. It's really a mainly dry week. I just don't see anything big on the horizon as far as big storms, widespread rain, high pressure building down out of Canada is going to keep things quiet. Um, as far as um, any washouts, we don't see that. So uh, things look fairly um, fairly tranquil for now. Take a look at uh, a warming trend. Uh, it's next several days, next several afternoons, a little bit for tomorrow, more so for uh, Thursday and especially on Friday. Temperatures peaking on Friday we should be well into the 70s. Low sea breeze will keep the coastline cooler Friday afternoon. Here's the latest satellite and radar composite and just these thin clouds overhead this evening. Uh, no precipitation. It is dry. What's left of what was once uh, Tropical Storm Arthur is getting sheared apart and heading out to sea well to our south. You can see here in southern New England. So that continues to bend and move away. In the meantime, you see the circulation on the left-hand side of your screen. Uh, rain. Uh, that represents an upper-level low. So in other words, if you were to look at the winds in the mid and the upper levels of the atmosphere, you would see this big kind of giant swirl. And um, we call that an upper level low. And that's a region of cool air aloft and you know showers and thunderstorms. So this is gonna kind of sit and spin in this area for several days. And what that means is it will just keep dry air being filtered across New England. So what happens is what's left of Arthur, and there's really not much that's left, it's not, it's not even a tropical storm anymore, that heads away. This feature down here kind of stalls across the southeast for several days, and we stay dry. Eventually, a piece of this is going to try to clip the area on Saturday with maybe a shower. I just, I just don't feel as though Saturday is a bad day, but we could squeak out an isolated shower if that. I think, um, for the most part, Saturday is dry. I'm going to show you the, uh, the forecast in just a second. All right, so let's get in real close here and kind of walk you through it hour by hour, <coughs> starting off overnight. Take you into... Uh, Wednesday morning at around 6 a.m. Uh, it's naturally it's chilly at that hour, so just a little after sunrise. It's in the mid 40s. Sunshine gets to work and the temperatures respond nicely. Beautiful day. You got an east uh, northeast breeze at light speed. It's not quite as windy. It's these, now these numbers are actually computer outputs, so you know you're seeing a lot of 63s here. I just think it's more like 66, uh, 67 uh, on your Wednesday afternoon. So real comfortable day. Dry air in place. Looking good. This is 6 o'clock Wednesday. 11 o'clock Wednesday night, clear skies and cooling off once again. So for your Wednesday morning, brief chill at 6 a.m. Nice recovery by 11 a.m. It's at 60, you know, 65, 66, maybe 67 degrees uh, Wednesday afternoon on an east-northeast breeze. And otherwise, uh, really a comfortable day coming up. Temperatures moderate Thursday, nice and even warmer uh, by Friday. Right now, the early call on Memorial Day weekend is um, I don't see, you know, like 70s and 80s. Uh, we'll be seasonally mild for the holiday weekend, meaning upper 60s to around 70, not much higher than that. And, and, and mainly dry, uh, just the outside chance of an isolated brief shower Saturday, not a big deal. And the Sunday and Memorial Day Monday are looking dry under at least partly sunny skies. So as far as a stormy holiday weekend, we don't see that. All right, that's your latest Weather Now update. Thanks for logging in. We'll talk to you soon.